today I would like to talk to you about something that I have kept buried and hidden for a great many years. Um, if you know me well, then you will kind of know anyway, and you'll kind of, if you know me a little bit, you may have seen over the last few years little bits of sharing and little bits. But now, my friends, is the time for a big share. Some of you may resonate with this. Some of you may think she's gone batshit crazy. I'll lock her up immediately. Both of those things are fine. It's okay. It's my path of sharing. I didn't really have a lot of awareness around it, but I was exploring. And then when I kind of went through to my late teens and I um, started to settle down, I was still trying to get through this. What do I do? Who am I? What am I? What's the meaning of life? What am I going to do with my job? And how am I going to make everybody happy and do what's right and still be creative and express my soul and explore my spirituality and not piss anyone off and be accepted and be loved and not be judged? All that crap that was going on. And I was never afraid which is interesting no i don't really have much in the way of fear healthy fear response i suppose but i was never afraid i was just interested really curious and really interested and i looked at all kinds of different religions and why people behaved the way they did in terms of their own spiritual pursuit trying to trying to connect with and understand something bigger than themselves i was looking at duality and unity and what i call I was the macro and the micro the big and the small my tiny little self like so irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, this little meat suit that I wander around in. But consciousness, you know, from a very early age, it was an interest for me. There was something more, there was something bigger, there was something out there. I, spirituality for me isn't the pursuit of connecting with something, another external entity, trying to chase something that will provide judgment or accept me or that, that, that external thing. It was connecting, my, I was that. Does that make sense? It was me. It was all me. It was higher part, a higher part, or a bigger part, or something. It was, but it was all me, consciousness. Um, and I could re resonate and recognise that I was connected to everybody else and everything else as well, which was really interesting when you're growing up as a kid to have those concepts and to kind of feel it. It's not what you do. It's not what you do. It's weird, and people don't talk about that anyway. So I'll, I, it's fine. I'll keep it there. It's kind of my thing that no one knows about. And when I want to, I'll dip in and out of it. But I'll kind of just do all this stuff over here, this shiny stuff. Right. And something in there went, whoof, lit. <gasps> this is Peru. This is what you need to do. And yeah, okay, so my, my all of these senses came back in, came back online. I was like, oh, I had this for a while. I'm not connected in for a while. Yeah. What happened on that night in the mountain? I don't know. I ain't got a Scooby-Doo. But it was something massively spiritual. At, I know for sure chapter and I knew I was gonna do something really different when I came back it's like I always say it's like unlocking levels right once you you defeat a baddie then you unlock a new character and you level up and that was me leveling up and coming across and understanding a new discipline a new way of life and something that that definitely was me and just lined it all up and made sense of it all so shamanic practice being the shaman right I always thought of a shaman as like the traditional skull on a stick, bone through the nose, licking a toad and, you know, doing weird medicine stuff in, in strange places, which it sounds cool to me anyway, right? But that was my, that was what that is. And it's not something that I could connect with films, didn't connect it with actual real life. Um, or 90s dance act, drum and bassy dance act. That was the shaman, that was the shaman, that was all I knew didn't know anything else until I started to research and dig and that is when things changed completely and my life flipped again Obsessed. now in true Jane fashion I do an arse about face started the journey in Peru at the end did the ceremony buried the coca leaves had my massively spiritual experience and then embarked on 10 years worth of learning <laughs>